Hi there everyone, it's Jen, the Board Game Librarian of the Literary Gamers, and today I'm going to do a short preview of the new Talent Strike Studios game, The Night Market, that is going up on Kickstarter very soon. Designed by Adam Zwayne, this is a game for one to four players, uh, ages 14 and up for 60 to 90 minutes. In this game, you are a restaurant owner in the night markets of Taipei, and you are looking to gain the most reputation through selling uh, dishes to the right customers who want the things that you have and you're gonna do that through worker placement now I'm not gonna tell you how the game plays I'm sure there's excellent videos out there I'm gonna do a horrible job at it um, but I really want to tell you how I felt playing this game and what I liked and didn't like about it and whether it would be a good fit for you uh, to back on Kickstarter I will tell you straight up that this is my favorite Talent Strike Studios game that I have gotten to preview. Um, I had gotten the Spy one before that and then uh, Jukebox as well. And this I think is their most complex design, uh, most mature design as well, and most interesting as well. I love the theme on this and it really it comes through. It's a Euro game, a worker placement Euro game, um, but you are doing a lot of things and I felt like I was there in this restaurant um, stall in Taipei. What I loved too as well, um, and Jason Washburn had made this really super, imp it was a priority and they made it very clear on social media that um, they had cultural consult cult consultancy um, experts come in as well and Adam the designer um, either grew up in Taipei or had some connection to um, this particular theme and so it meant a lot to him to design this game. I love the art direction in this game. Um, I think it's really vibrant. Um, you are picking up these little pieces of food and um, very interesting. I'm gonna open the box here um, and even along the sides here we have mango shaved ice and there's a little description about that a steamed pork bun um, beef noodle and then of course mochi I just that's such a great attention to detail because if you are someone like me who hasn't um, ever been to Taipei or had any of this food before you learn a little something about it as well of course all of these um, pieces that you're gonna see in the box and in the pictures that I'm showing here are prototypes and not the final and blah 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 you know the drill I hope you know the drill um, so you get a ton in this box and when we I opened it up I was like wow um, but some of the coolest things um, are the stalls that you're going to be adding along in there and how you can upgrade them um, as the game goes on, the uh, pieces of ingredients that you're collecting during the daytime, and um, just even the little chef meeples that were in here. Ooh, super cute. Um, there are two phases in uh, your play of the night market. There's a day phase where you are going out and collecting um, uh, you're sending your workers out and collecting various ingredients that you are going to need to make your dishes to sell to your customers. You are gathering customers along the way. You are hoping uh, along the four seasons to make them a loyal customer and then you'll gain more points because they know to come to your stall when they return. I liked that about the game as well. The worker placement part was very streamlined and very cool too because when you put your worker down you know on one tile you would get your ingredient and then if you placed um, your next worker down and not on the very next tile but in the tile after that you got not only um, what you put down on but a combination of things so you could really chain it out and have diagonals going and by the end I was just like swimming in ingredients it was so awesome um, but you have to be careful because you'll throw some ingredients out and you'll be sad like I was um, but that part was super clever I loved that I haven't seen that in any other worker placements game placement games um, with that kind of cross hatch of using a grid like that. Um, so that really made Night Market unique. As well, 
Um, there is a, the evening time when you are preparing your dishes, you're putting things together, and then attracting your customers who are paying you your money. And at the end of four seasons, uh, you tally up uh, your your money, your points, and whoever has the most is the winner. Um, Matt and I played this as a two-player game, and um, I thought it went very smoothly. I thought um, the rule book was very well done as well, and um, again, it, the flow of the game from the two separate phases, I thought meshed well together and it made sense too. The things that you were doing in the day were relevant to what you were doing at night as well. Um, I, I love the theme like I said. I you know I don't know of any other game that captures this particular like moment in time of sorts or moment in place. Um, so very interesting on that. Um, and then the fact that they um, brought in some um, cultural consultants to props to talent studios on that um so yeah, i again i think this is talent strike studios best design that i've gotten my hands on so far um i don't know what other games you have played from them whether it be vinyl um which is one of their most well-known ones i have not played that but i think it's a great one to back. Um, you're getting a ton in this box, ton, ton, ton in this box, um, and I think there's variability in how um, tiles go out, the customers come out, and then there are some objectives during each season as well. That is what I have to say about Night Market uh, in this short little preview. Uh, if you have any questions or if I've missed, I haven't explained something well enough, please comment below. But um, enjoy enjoy and I really want to go get some um, some shaved ice I want to go get some shaved ice I'm excited uh, that is all thanks for joining me today <laughs>